What's up guys, Sean Mayo here, and today we're going to talk about Tactical Arbitrage 2.0 uh, and the Tactical Edge feature. Uh, so what the Tactical Edge feature is going to do is it's going to compare uh, whatever ASIN you punch in with the, um, uh, you know, the price that you know it is or what you may think it is, uh, and it's going to show you what ROI you can get compared to all the other sellers. Uh, so instead of looking at a lot of products, this is just going to look at a single product and, uh, you know, see at what price point you're going to be able to make money at. Uh, it'll show you, you know, history for the current and 30 days and 90 days and all that information. Uh, so um, a lot of great information here. If you want to dig into a single product, you're going to find uh, a wealth of awesome info. So uh, let's get right into it and check it out. Uh, if you're on the dashboard or anywhere here, um, all you have to do is click on the analysis uh, and you're going to see two things. Product variations, uh, which we go over in a different video, and Tactical Edge, which is about tonight. Uh, and all you have to do is put in an ASIN uh, and a price to compare. So um, this is a multi-pack of mashed potatoes. So I know that they sell for 89 cents, so we're just going to put... 8.90 uh, for 8.90 for 10 of them and we're going to click on um, fetch information now if you don't know what the price is um, you might want to do a reverse search or you can just enter in a penny uh, you know 0 0.01 and uh, it's basically going to be uh, showing you what um, you know what you're going to be getting after fees obviously the profit's going to be off because you didn't enter in a buy cost uh, so we can see that this is going to show a ton of information, uh, you know, all the top competition and what, um, you know, basically what they're going to be making. And you don't ever know where they source. They could have sourced it at a huge dis discount at liquidation, but if they're sourced in the same place you are, they're probably paying the same amount you are. So you're going to be able to uh, see what their profits are, their ROIs, and you're going to be able to make a decision uh, at what point you want to want to buy those products, uh, you know, because for example, if this uh, seller only has one in stock, uh, well, we know they're going to sell out, so this is going to be the next one. Um, and as we can see here, um, you know, it looks like they're all, uh, you know, FBA or none of them are FBA sellers; they're all merchant fulfilled sellers. So uh, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. We'll just go over uh, all the info that you get here. Obviously, the first thing is the title. It's in blue, so you can hover over it. And it's going to take you right to uh, the link on Amazon. Um, now, you would think the ASIN might show the same information, uh, but in reality, it's actually taking you to the product variation page. Um, this is some mashed potatoes. I don't think there's any um, variations, but uh, we can definitely uh, do the variation checker, which is going to check out reviews and see you know which variations if any uh have been um getting the most amount of reviews uh and it checks out 38 of them um apparently there are a lot of uh quite a few variations here so we can see the 12 pack of 1.5 ounce is the most popular the one we were looking at is a 4.1 ounce pack of 10 which is the second one down has 42 um it has 42 reviews, which accounts for about 20% of all the sales. And then the 1.5 ounce pack of 12 is the most popular. Um, you know, so as we can see, there's a ton of good info here. Um, and especially if you're going to be in clothing or shoes or products that do often have a lot of variations, uh, grocery oftentimes doesn't. Uh, we just happen to have seen one that, that did. Um, and then you can also look at, uh, you know, the Keepa info. Uh, click on there to get camel, 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 and then to log in the Seller Central to see if you're approved to sell that product. Um, <clears throat> under that, we see uh, the ratings, which is 4.5. Uh, it's visually shown with stars now, and the number of reviews, a lot of reviews for this product. Uh, next is the buy price, and this is completely, um, or I skipped the UPC and EAN. Obviously, in this case, they're the same since it's food. There's no EAN number. Uh, usually, but um, next is a buy price. This is completely dependent on what you entered in uh, when you uh, when we open Tactical Edge, uh, and then the rank. So it's set at current, whatever is 
is red is current uh, and then we can also check 30 day and 90 day uh, not a whole lot of variation so we're usually right in the same spot and we can also check other um, you know other pictures and then above that you can check the uh, another ASIN and then we go down to the bottom so uh, in this section it's going to show the uh, 12 month ratings, the total rating, if it's Amazon, FBA, or Merchant Fulfilled uh, as a seller on the product, the price, if it's in stock, uh, what you're getting after fees, uh, gross profit, gross ROI, and of course the seller name. So if we uh, hover over the seller name, obviously it's going to take us to uh, that seller. And it's just going to take you to the main. Uh, page for uh, that particular seller and then if we click on uh, this button here um, it's going to actually explore all of that seller's ASINs in reverse search so uh, it's basically uh, if you have storefront stalker pro and you have your code entered in the settings you're going to be able to click on that and uh, it's going to do a scan in reverse search uh, for that seller directly so you won't have to go find the seller and then, you know, uh, run Storefront Stalker, extract all the information, upload it into reverse search. You can just hit that one button there. It's going to pull all their data, and then it's going to go ahead and um, run that scan automatically. Um, so a ton of good info here. Um, you know, we can see that, you know, possibly at here it may not be worth it at 65% ROI, but we can see when they sell out and it goes down to the next one, uh, it may definitely be worth it at 80% or 104%, um, you know, and so on. And you can also get uh, a good judge of, uh, you know, how much of that product is in stock. Um, you know, so a ton of good info, info if you want to really dig in. Um, and that's about all there is to this. Um, real simple, but a ton of great information because... Uh, you know, when we start digging in on specific uh, ASINs, we're going to see that, you know, maybe the first one or two sellers, uh, you know, have it so we can't make any money where it's 20 or 30 percent and you need 50 percent. But, you know, the third or fourth seller, uh, you know, may have it where, you know, they're making 40 percent, 50 percent, you know, 100 percent. Who knows? Um, but once those first few items sell then you're already at that higher price and you can just start selling at that higher price when you send them in and they may be that at that point by the time it gets there so uh you know don't discount those products that aren't quite meeting your roi uh so if you like this video uh please um you know obviously like uh, comment and uh, subscribe hit that bell down there you'll get notices from when we release new videos, tons of stuff on Amazon FBA, tactical arbitrage, all that good stuff. Um, and if you're not using tactical arbitrage, we will have, um, just hit that little eye up in the corner and uh, we'll give you a link. You can use the code Sean Mayo, get a 10 day free trial or whatever the current price point is. Um, and you don't have to pay anything before you sign up. And if you're already using tactical arbitrage, uh, I have other free goodies in every video. Uh, so just check out uh, whatever items we have up there. Uh, they change all the time, so uh, we're always releasing new free stuff. Uh, so check out those links up there in that info box, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.